Episode 8, Zhou Ruji knows the relationship between Xian Qi and Min Quan Quan. Seeing the gloomy weather when Xian Qi went to work, he was worried that Min Hui would get caught in the rain after work, so he immediately asked his assistant to drive to the door of Min Hui's company. Ding Jifeng was also nearby at the time. A photo was taken, and Min Hui fell on Xian Qi because of a sudden break. This photo became Ding Jifeng's handle, and he immediately sent the photo to the entire company's employees. When I went to work the next day, Min Hui found that the employees of the company looked at her very strangely. Chao Mu immediately pulled her aside and asked her if she was in love. Chao Mu didn't care about Min Hui's relationship with the man at all and was even a little happy this single mother finally met Peach Blossom again, but Min Hui didn't tell her about the relationship in advance, but it made her upset. Min Hui explained the ins and outs of the matter clearly, investigated the IP address that sent the photos, and found that it was the community where Ding Jifeng lived. Xian Qi passed by Min Hui's company and heard that Min Hui was once again involved in a sex scandal, and angrily reminded Min Hui that for Min Chuan Chuan's sake, she must keep her own place in the future. Her reputation was affected, so she moved out of her house as soon as possible. Min Hui brought the physical evidence to Mr. He and asked Ding Jifeng to apologize in public. Mr. He told Ding Jifeng to follow Min Hui's request. Ding Jifeng and Mr. He had a good relationship. In order not to let Min Hui dominate, Mr. He asked Ding Jifeng to take over the project of Bluebird Group. Ding Jifeng hurriedly went to the Bluebird to meet Xian Qi, because he didn't know the relationship between Xian Qi and Min Hui, and even ridiculed Min Hui for not being professional enough. He didn't see clearly who was sitting in the car when he took pictures that day. Xian Qi deliberately invited him to the underground parking lot and let him take a closer look at the car. Ding Jifeng's face turned pale, and he immediately realized that he had made a big mistake. In private life, that troublemaker will definitely be fired. Ding Jifeng submissively vowed that he would handle this matter well. That afternoon, the whole company received an apology letter from Ding Jifeng to Min Hui, who was proven innocent. Min Hui was in a good mood. When she got home at night, Min Hui gave a speech excitedly, feeling that her best friend was really her backup strength, standing firmly with her at all times. Xian Qi was speechless after hearing this, and Min Hui still doesn't know that it is his credit. At night, Min Quan Quan wanted Min Hui and Xian Qi to read storybooks to him together. The three of them slept together on the bed. Only Min Quan Quan thought it was fun. He held Min Hui and Xian Qi's hands tightly together, and the three of them fell asleep in a daze. Up, finally on the second day, Min Hui woke up and found that she was so close to Xian Qi, she couldn't help but blush. Min Quan Quan pulled Xian Qi to make breakfast quickly when Zhou Ruji came. Seeing Min Hui and Xian Qi in their pajamas in the room, their eyes widened in shock, Min Hui hurriedly pulled him out to explain. When Xian Qi saw Zhou Ruji coming to Min Hui's house, he couldn't help but feel jealous. This small gesture between rivals was very familiar. Xian Qi knew that Zhou Ruji must never forget Min Hui, and Zhou Ruji knew that Xian Qi was Min Hui's biological father. In the end, he wasn't very surprised. Anyway, no matter what Min Hui was, he liked it very much. Besides, when he first met Min Hui, he knew that she had a child. In order to increase the chances of getting in touch with Zhou Ruji, Yao Zizhu specially became a volunteer in the hospital and gave Zhou Ruji a bento with love, but Zhou Ruji tactfully refused and put all his heart in Min Hui's place, and even went to her house to make dinner for Min Hui. Min Quan Quan ate Zhou Ruji's braised pork ribs with relish, Xian Qi came uninvited, seeing Zhou Ruji always courting Min Hui, the jar of vinegar was scattered all over the floor.